are indeed. We're going to have tougher fights than that. We're going to be crushing all the way to the end. Crushing all the way to the end, that's what we like. It's Robot Wars. Let's hear it for Tiberius! Rust in pieces, it will mon it out. Tiberius 2 go through. Major Tom and Clip tonight, the next up. From the Isle of Sheppey, Major Tom. A 1970s fairground bumper car and garden water barrel used here for a machine which crashed out in the heats in Series 4 has a vertically mounted rotating flywheel at the front, but does Major Tom have enough ground control? From East Farley, clip tonight. A stainless steel plasma welded shell, powerful motors, an axe lifter, 50 miles an hour top speeds. Lack of experience, but can clip tonight bring down our own super boss? Roboteers, stand by. The Clip Tonight team, apprentice engineers Michael Edwards, Nathan Crawley and Graham Hewish and Major Tom back again, Henry Ryan, John Morris and Arthur Robinson. Matilda's back in the arena for the house robots. That flywheel is deadly, believe you me. And Sir Killalot has the crushing claws and the lance. Three, two, one... The red bot has the glance and Major Tom comes sidling in. I can't remember a bumper car looking like that. Mind you, I wasn't around in the 50s, honest. Clip tonight with a little axe and a shove and Major Tom with a ghastly, leering grin turns and comes in again with that uh, vertical flywheel at the front. Stronger, better for the experience of Series 4 when it was defeated in its round one heat and Clip tonight's in all sorts of problems here early on. Major Tom, a couple of bashes and a crashes, and Clip tonight not strong enough to survive. Apprentices, you have to learn to get your engineering qualifications and to bring back a stronger robot next time. Clip tonight's counted out. And our man of steel, Major Tom, to go through. And Matilda comes in, and now we unleash our dogs of war. The house robots, Sir Killalot and Matilda to punish Clip tonight for bringing in a substandard machine. Bring in a heap of junk and we'll turn it into proper rubbish, says Killalot. Clip tonight, boys, I don't necessarily agree with the thoughts of Sir Killalot, of course. Matilda in there as well. Mind you, let's be honest, your machine wasn't great, was it? And it's going to go down the pit any moment now. Sir Killalot hoists it. Hi, Matilda, get out of the way. Go on, what are you doing? And... Clip tonight, thrown into tatters on the arena floor. All bent and bashed. And it's K4 kill a lot. And clip tonight, K4 killed. Any moment now down the pit, didn't last long. Team likes its martial arts, likes its motocross. Sir Killalot is crossed and Clip tonight about to be given the old shot suey. Onto the arena flame pit. A little bit of torching. <laughs> One of the panels has fallen off. Oh, I'll get rid of it. I think we've seen enough. How much work went into that and all over in a second. And eventually pitted. That's the last we'll see of Clip tonight in this series. Cease. Well, for Clip tonight, it wasn't really worth getting out of bed. The victor is Major Tom! Um, easy peasy, Lemon oh, Squeezy. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely job. You know? Yeah. You're, going to, you're going to have a lot harder face than that, though, aren't you? Oh, oh yeah. Much, much harder, yeah. We've got our work cut out there. Yeah. Um, tell me a bit about the robot. Well, it's a 1977 bumper car that was found in a field by a fourth team member, Joe. And we stripped it down and worked on it and gradually produced the robot that we've got now. I mean, I felt sorry for Clip tonight, though. I mean, they must have oh, spent yes. months building that and it just... 
Yes, we really have. We know but them. they are a multinational company from the same island that yeah. we come from, which well, is Sheppy. Isle of Sheppy, yeah. And we are garden shed technology, and they're a multinational company. What can I say? Hey, a victory for the little man! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Ladies let's hear it! Major Tom! Well done, Major Tom. Through safely, clip tonight, they've gone. Next up, Barbarous is task, a previous champion in panic attack. From Thornhill, panic attack. Series 2 champion, semi-finalist twice, now modified with the electric and pneumatic lifting fork, zero turning circle and ground clearance, the very experienced Kim Davis at the controls. From Horsham, Barbarous. A vicious twisty turn, a spiky barber's pole on its side and on wheels. One description, a horizontal rotating drum covered in barbs with a hammer mace. Lack of experience, though, could bring a close shave or two. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the previous champions, Panic Attack. There, Kim and Michael Davis's son and the barbarous boys, Simon Rafferty, Guy Rafferty and Chris Watts. Sergeant Bash is in the arena for the house robots. The flick of flame doesn't get you. Why the push, the shove, the scoop, the axe of shunt will. Three, two, one. Fun-looking machine, barbarous. But will it give Panic Attack a short hack and off the sides of the arena? We'll wait and see. Barbarous running out. A regular tattoo beat out there on the attack and has grappled hold of Panic Attack and the fork lifts the front of Panic Attack upward. They stuck in that upward position. Is Barbarous wedged in there somehow? No. Kim Davis has lowered them now and maybe in doing so has buckled one of those little wheels of Barbarous. We'll wait and see in underneath Panic Attack. Modified, you see the side skirts there. That prevents uh, a flipper getting in underneath with a broadside attack. On panic, using now its own forks to get in underneath Barbarous with the rotating drum covered in barbs. And as the drum ceased, when it's ripped, you can see that the weaponry has stopped at Barbarous. And Panic Attack is about to drive Simon Rafferty, Guy Rafferty, and Chris Watts away, pressing it onto the pit release button. And about to, I think. He gets the chance, shove it into the pit on the attack, panic attack. You can see there the, the top lifting away like an additional flipper. They have made improvements to panic attack semi-finalists, beaten by Stinger in Series 4. In comes Sergeant Bash. Lovely, innovative design for Barbarous. And plenty of work would have gone into that in the design room. Very different from the arena itself. Oh, dear. We might have made a few mistakes, they think. Well, getting into close quarters with Sergeant Bash was certainly one. And I think Barbarous is just about to be rendered totally harmless. And Panic Attack. Well, they may have had a, a bit of wit, but they're in the pit from Panic Attack. Hard luck, Barbarous boys. Good effort. Barbarous gets a pudding cut. Pounding attack, they go through! <laughs> um, that's a fairly mean machine you just beat then, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's what we were worried about. It's a very, very r tough robot. Yeah. I think it was an unfortunate draw for Barbarous, really, because your shape and design was probably the worst thing it could come up against, isn't yeah, it, really? It's, it's very difficult to get, actually get in and damage them. We took our weapon out. We couldn't lift the forks at all no. after the first hit. Has your, has, your weapon, has your lifting device completely gone now? Yeah. Well, what's, uh, it could be a wire or something that's come off, but it's not working. I tell you what, you took a bit of damage there as well, didn't you? I mean, yeah, the, half, the whole yeah. top was going to rip off at one stage. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he just stopped spinning? Mm. Yeah, the well, idea was just to keep hitting him until something broke, which... Looks as if something has. So. Yeah. And then your and then your uh, driving took over, and you got yeah. him into the pit in the end. Yeah. <clears throat> How are you enjoying yourself? It's fun. It's fun, isn't it? Are you looking forward to this war? 
You're yeah, an ex, yeah. ex-British champion. Do you think you could be a British champion again? Um, well, as long as we're entertaining, I really don't mind how we get on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take to go out, you know, tipped over and out within two minutes. It would have been terrible if you'd gone out in the first round, wouldn't it? No, it's a very good robot. And a, and a, <laughs> a very tough draw. But you've yeah, come through. We have. Ladies and gentlemen, don't panic. It's panic attack! Well done, Panic Attack. Good performance. Barbarous, they're beaten. Panic Attack, I would imagine, now the favourites for this heat. Let's have a look at the heat semi-final lineups. Panic Attack will meet Tiberius too, but first up, Cat 3 and Major Tom.